Hey all, John V here from Phone Arena. I have the Motorola Droid Bionic in my hands right here, and I'm just gonna run a few different benchmark tests, give us a good indication of what the handset's all about with its dual core processor, one gigabyte of RAM. So let's get started. First one we're gonna run here is just Quadrant. I'm just gonna run it twice, just give it a good tally here, see what the results are. And let's run the full benchmark test here. And we already know there are some of the uh, standouts in this class uh, with the top tiered smartphones out there, out there like the uh, LG Optimus 2X, the Samsung Galaxy S2, um, a bunch of different dual core handsets out there in the market. So we'll see how the Joy Bionic puts up compared to those others here. It's going through these tests, the graphical tests, pretty quickly. This one here running at the smooth rate of around, on the average, 30 frames per second, going up to as much as 50. But so far it looks like it's pretty good here. And this next one here, a little bit choppy from what we're looking at here. 11, 12 frames per second with this graphical test. And the last one here, looks like 24, 25 frames per second. So let's take a look here. And let's just see. Yes. So it puts up a score of 2131. Pretty impressive. Uh, of course, beats out some of the other handsets before it. You know, uh, but compared to some of the top top end smartphones, doesn't quite as doesn't quite beat beat them out as much. So let's run this one again really quick here, see if we get a consistent score going on. But overall, it didn't take too much time, and in our, in our time just using the handset, uh, not too long. Um, it seems like it's running very smoothly, opening up applications, navigational control. You know, swiping between the home screens. You have this fluid motion to it, not that much evidence of any choppiness or slowdown. Um, and it's, for the most part, very smooth its uh, overall operation. So this one here, again, it's ranging between 25 to 30 frames per second. The next one had a little bit of trouble from the previous test. And again, it's still running at around 12 frames per second. So not, not quite as, as smooth as we'd like. And the last one here. Looks like 25 on the average, 26 frames per second. And we'll see if it comes up with the same scores here. So put up a little bit better scores. 2389 is the final number, so pretty respectable still. Nevertheless, it's more, more concerned about the uh, you know the actual operation of the handset. And as you can tell, just moving about the home screen, we're pretty satisfied with it so far. So let's run the second test. Uh, actually, we're going to show you the results. We already ran it. The N22 benchmark test. Let's just go back here. You can take a look at all the figures here, the uh, the tally, the, the numbers it puts up. Uh, gave it an overall total score of 49.93. So when we put that in the score chart, it's going to show us right here. My our device is at 49.93. It's still a little bit behind the LG Optimus 2X and of course the Samsung Galaxy S2, which is at the top of the uh, chart here. So uh, it's still good, but doesn't quite as uh, put up as. Uh, you know, better numbers compared to those other two handset handsets there. So the last thing we're going to show you here is just uh, seeing that's 4G LTE. I'm just going to run a quick uh, speed test uh, um, benchmark here. Show you the type of speeds with 4G LTE. At this point, we're pretty accustomed to knowing what we should what what's capable of getting here. So let's just show you this test uh, really quick here. So 104 milliseconds for ping. Download is phenomenal. 22, it's uh, really blazing. Same thing with upload. Upload could be a little bit better, but the download speeds are just ridiculous. So you take a look and see what they are right there. Pretty good, pretty good uh, results there. Let's just change the settings here. So it show you a little bit better. And let's let, run that test again one more time, see if we get the same figures. So ping, 125 milliseconds. Download speeds increasing more and more, 9.09 .09 megabits per second. So the first one could have been just a you know fluke here, but we'll just test it one more time. 2.51. So let's see if we get a consistent consistent score this time around. 110 milliseconds for ping. Download again. Now it seems to be you know, more consistent, roughly around eight eight megabits per second, and of course upload around 2.6 on the higher side of the two scale. So pretty good, nevertheless. You know, better than 3G connectivity here. And finally, I'm just going to show you the actual web browsing experience here. Just quickly show you that our website. Let's just type it in. And let's see how fast it loads up. 
There you go. Starts loading up everything. Pictures, uh, text is laid out properly. We'll shoot, we should be able to see the flash content loading here with the ads. And as it's loading up, we can interact with the website. Double tap. You can zoom in. Multi-touch. So pinch zoom. And it's still loading up some of the other stuff here. Again, it's a little bit choppy with the uh, with the flat uh, with the flash content loaded, but it's up and running right now. So there you go, pretty good fast, uh, less than 30 seconds for it to uh, completely load up. So we'll be testing it out the handset a little bit more, see how it handles. But in the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about the Motorola Droid Bionic, you can check out our website, PhoneRena.com. Thanks for watching, guys.